The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 15, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 28, 1975, in Denver, Colorado. Ke chit ke bolaya bhaktya vasudeva parayana agham dhunnanti kasnena nihara mibhavaskara ke chit means somebody Uh, very rarely. Somebody means very rarely. It is not so easy thing to become Vasudeva Parāyana. Yesterday I explained that Bhagavan Krishna says that Jatatāma pi siddhyānāṁ kaschit vetri māntat Manushanam sahasri hu kashti jitati jatai jatati siddhya. Siddhi uh, means perfection of life. Generally they take it hosta siddhi of yoga practice. Anima, laghima, uh, mahima, prapti, siddhi, isita, basita. Rakamya. So these are called siddhis. Yoga siddhi. Yoga siddhi means you can become smaller than the smallest. However, actually magnitude is very, very small. So by yoga siddhi, in spite of having this material body, one yogi can come to the smallest size and anywhere you keep him packed, he'll come out. That is called Anima Siddhi. Similarly, there is Mahima Siddhi, Laghima Siddhi, he can become lighter than the swab of cotton. The yogis, they become so light, still there are yogis in India. Of course, in our childhood we saw some yogi, he used to come to my father. So he said that he could go anywhere within very few seconds. And sometimes they go early in the morning to Jagannath Puri, to Rameswaram, to Haridhar, and take their bathing in different Ganges water. That is called Laghima Siddhi. He become very light. He used to say that we are sitting with our Guru and just touching. We are sitting here, and after a few seconds we see in a different place. This is called Lagima Siddhi. And so there are many yoga siddhis. People become very much uh, puzzled by saying this yoga siddhi. But Krishna says, Jatatamapi Siddhyana. Amongst many such siddhas, we have got yoga siddhi. Jatatāma pisidhyāna kaschi dvetri māṁ tattva. Somebody may understand me. So one may achieve some yoga siddhis, still it is not possible to understand Krishna. That is not possible. Krishna can be understood only such persons who has dedicated everything to Krishna. Therefore Krishna wants that, demands, sarva-dharmān paritajya mām ekaṁ sarva. 
Krishna is only understandable by his pure devotee, not anyone else. Athapite deva padam mujaddam prasadalesanu grihita eva hi janati tattam nachana eko pi chirang vichinna. Those who are fevered by the causeless mercy of Krishna, uh, they can understand Krishna. Others, nachana eko pi chiranga vichinna. Chiranga means for long time, for many years. If they speculate only what is God or what is Krishna, uh, that that process will not help us. There are many Vedic versions like that. Atasya Krishna namadi na bhaved grahiham indriyai sevan mukhehi jivhado samivas puratada. Uh, Krishna, his name, his fame, his attributes, his activities, uh, Sri Krishna Navadi, Navadi. Navadi means beginning from the holy name. So if we keep ourselves on the material platform, then for thousand years we may chant till we deliver. That is called Nama Pura. Of course, holy name is so powerful that even by chanting with offense, gradually he becomes pure. Therefore we should not give up chanting. Any circumstances we should go on chanting Hare Krishna But the warning is that if we keep us on the material platform, then it will be not possible to understand Krishna, His holy name, his attribute, his form, his activities, it will not pass. So the process is bhakti. And when you come to the platform of understanding Krishna, then immediately you become fit for being transferred to the spiritual world. That is Krishna says also in the Bhagavad Gita, Tapta de hang punat janma naiti mavi. So, there, first of all, people do not understand what is the aim of life, and they do not care at the present moment. They have no distinction uh, what is sinful life or what is pious life. But we may, uh, what is called, not believe in these things. But things are, they are like that. Uh, just like if you infect some disease, it will come out. Uh, you believe or not believe. It doesn't matter. Uh, your doctor, sir, you know, that if you have infected some disease, it will come out. Ah. So uh, we are infecting so many uh, infectious qualities. Uh, there are three qualities, sadhagun, rajagun, tamagun. And according to our infection, we have to accept a different type of body. Uh, every one of us, we are working under the modes of material nature, and according to our association, we will have to accept a certain type of body. Tathādehāntara uh, prāpti. Unfortunately, there is no science, there is no college, there is no university to learn this science of nature, how things are going on. Prakriti kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa. Prakriti is going there. 
because we are in this material world on account of this infectious condition. This is our problem. And we have to die. That's a fact. If you say that I don't believe in death, that is not excuse. Death must be there. You must die. So in this way our life is going on. So in the human form of life we can rectify this. This is the process of Krishna consciousness that if we rectify our constant association with different material modes of nature and as a result of this association uh, we are accepting one body and again dying and again accepting another body, again dying. This business will be stopped. Jadgatyana nivattanti taddhamam paramam. Sava or other, if you become fit to go back to home, back to Godhead, Jadgatyana, then you will have got to come back again. But they do not understand that this material conditional life is always misery. They have accepted it is very nice. Uh, animals, animals just like in the slaughter, slaughterhouse, livestock go down. There are so many animals and it, they are going to be slaughtered. Everyone knows. They also know the animals. But on account of their animal quality, they cannot do anything. Similarly, we are also put into the slaughterhouse of this material world. It is called Mrityulo. Everyone knows that he will be slaughtered today, tomorrow, or fifty years after, or a hundred years after. Everyone knows that he will be slaughtered. Uh, he'll die. Uh, death means slaughter. Nobody wants to die. The animal also uh, do not like to die. Uh, but they are forcibly killed. This is called slaughter. Similarly, who wants to die? Nobody wants to die. But by nature's law, he has to be killed. That is slaughter. The whole material world is slaughter. We have to realize that. Uh, and it is called mrittu loka. Uh, this is the problem. Uh, but they do not uh, take it very serious. Like animal. The animal, he does not take very seriously. Uh, and even if he knows, he, he cannot take any step. So our position is like that. Uh, Mrittu samsara sagara ti sama hum anukam partham ahum bakkayana jantama ti sama ahum samudhatya mrittu samsara sagara. So we should understand our position. Nobody wants to die, but he is slaughtered. Again, he is given another chance another body, again he is slaughtered. This is the laws of nature. Why not? They with Jeshaguna Mai Mamaya Dhrutya. We should seriously understand this. The how to stop this slaughtering process of material nature. That is intelligence. Uh, otherwise to become happy like cats and dogs, oh I am very nicely eating, jumping. I don't care for being slaughtered. That is not very good intelligence. Uh, intelligence is how to stop the slaughtering process of nature. That is that is being discussed. So uh, anyone can get out of the slaughtering process by devotion and 
रिस्टेटेड है केचित की बोले आ भक्तिया किच दैट इज नॉट वेरी कॉमन वेरी रियर वन कम्स टू कृष्ण कॉन्स केचित के बोले आ भक्ता सिंपली बाई डिवोशन एंड सर्विस वन कैन गेट आउट ऑफ दिस डेंजरस कंडीशन ऑफ बींग स्लैटर्ड के चित के बोले आ भक्ता एंड हु आर दे वासुदेव परायणा डिवोट इज ऑफ कृष्ण कृष्ण नेम इज वासुदेव हिस्सा ना वसुदेव दर फॉर हिज नेम इज वासुदेव तो वासुदेव परायणा परायणा मीन्स आवर अल्टीमेट गोल इज वासुदेव नथिंग वी आर कॉल वासुदेव वासुदेव परायणा अघंग धुन लगती अघंग मीन्स द मेटीरियल कॉन्टामिनेशन वी आर ऑलवेज एसोसिएटेड विथ मेटीरियल कॉन्टामिनेशन सो इफ वी बिकम वासुदेव परायणा वासुदेव सर्वमीति स महात्मा सुदुर्लभ the same thing here it says kechit uh, but very rarely and krishna also says in the bhagavad gita uh, basudeva sarvamiti samahatma sudullava sudullava very rare uh, so this krishna consciousness movement although it is very rare we are trying to deliver krishna and love of krishna so uh, this is a uh, this is the top most welfare activities to the human society uh, because it is very difficult to understand krishna and we under certain process we are delivering krishna and it is being effect the process is so nice uh, in uh, the europeans and americans they did not know what is krishna 5 6 years ago but they are now very serious uh, even one priest in boston he was astonished that these boys christian boys are the jewish boys they are our men and they did not get to know what is god what is now they are after man after god they are mad how it is there are many practical proof that like in our many temples los angeles temple it was sold by the church because nobody was coming nobody was coming we have many purchases purchased in that way now you will see in los angeles it is all a spectra so we did not bring all this man from india the men the local men and the church is the same church why they are coming why they are taking interest so this is the effect of uh, sri chaitanya mahaprabhu's march he is uh, personally being merciful is distributed he krishna himself uh, that was so quickly so if we keep ourselves in the right way of executing krishna consciousness then it will be possible even in this very life we shall be perfect perfection means tatta deham punar janma naiti ma me this body this material body we have to give up everyone knows but those who are not becoming perfect they will have to come back again to accept another body uh, but those who are developing krishna consciousness this is the final giving up at your body go back to home back to body this is krishna consciousness moment uh and try to execute it very carefully lovingly then your life is successful
Kattade hang punar jano nai ti maam. So one who becomes fit for going to the spiritual world, Krishna loka, Vaikuntha loka, where is the question of this sinful reaction? Aghangthun lanti, no sinful man can go back to home, back to God. So if one is actually, some or other, becomes fit for going back to home, back, that means automatically he is a sinful reaction of life. Now, one may question how it is when if a man is sinful for many, many lives, how simply by becoming Krishna conscious he becomes free from the reaction? Yes, Krishna says, uh, you haven't got to take proof from anyone else. Krishna says, sarva dharma paritajya mami kam sarva Ahamtva sarva papi bhamakhaishami. Krishna says, I shall give you release from all sinful action which you have committed for many, many births. Krishna says, Ahamtva sarva papi bhamakhaishami. Masucha. There is no question of uh, worrying about it. So I have committed. But the uh, thing is, the after surrendering to Krishna, don't commit any more sinful life. Then you are done. Whatever you have done is done. It is done. But after surrendering, if you think it is a good business, I have surrendered. No, that is not surrender. The surrender is that Sarva Dharma and Paritaja. He has no other business. That is surrender. You cannot become a devotee of Krishna and engage in sinful activities. Then it is not surrender. You want to do your business on the strength of Krishna's blessing. No, that is not allowed. Uh, therefore Krishna says sarva dharma and paritaj. Uh, all kinds of activities, occupational duty, you should give up simply be engaged in Krishna's service. Krishna's service, as it, that's like Arjun. Arjun, uh, in the beginning, he was hesitating to be engaged in Krishna's service. Krishna wanted him to fight, to take part in the fight, but he was hesitating. Uh, but when he was instructed, Bhagavad Gita, he understood, he decided, yes, I shall find. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, we have got many programs uh, according to our mental concoction. Uh, that will not help us. If we simply act at Krishna desires, then our life is perfect. Krishna uh, silanam bhakti uttama. This is bhakti. Bhakti means anukullena Krishna silanam. You have to cultivate Krishna consciousness as it pleases Krishna, not him jigal. Anukulina. Just like Arjun got order directly from Krishna. One may argue, where is Krishna? No, you have got Krishna's representative. Guru, Jasya Prasada the Bhagavad Prasad. The representative is there. If you act according to his instruction, if you want to please him, then Krishna is pleased. Uh, just like in office, the managing director or the proprietor is not in uh, contact. Of course, Krishna is in contact with everyone. Ishara, Sarva, Bhutana, with this. But even taking this crude example, still the office superintendent, if he recommends somebody, some class, that this man is working very nice, that is accepted by the minimum director. There is no difficulty. Therefore, jasya prasada the Bhagavad prasad. If you want to please Krishna, you please Krishna's presence. Guru Charanay Rati, Saisa Uttam Adhvati. You are singing daily. So Krishna is not absent. Krishna is already within you. 
but he manifests himself as guru. Uh, prakash, this is stated in the Chaitanya Charita. So things are very easily uh, performed if we follow the system of the Krishna consciousness movement. And we should, we must. It is not that optional. If you make it optional, you will suffer. Uh, uh, that is the main thing. Krishna also said, Mame vaja prapadnante, maya me You have to surrender to Krishna or become Krishna. Otherwise, you will suffer by this uh, material energy that you cannot avoid. So, every one of us, at least those who have taken Krishna consciousness as their life and soul, uh, they should execute devotional service very sincerely, then their success is assured. Thank you very much.